just hit enter and our mechanized squad will spawn. Spawn a vehicle group that will patrol an area you specify. We're going to start off by building a mission. I'm going to go to this location into this tower. I'm going to place down an unarmed rifleman. This is just going to be our player. Go to F3 triggers and we're going to place a trigger without a size. I'm just going to place it right here and this is going to be a radio trigger. So edit the trigger and then under activation I'm going to click on that and then you're going to go down to radio alpha. We're going to set this as repeatable. In the text we're going to put spawn enemy. That's all you need to do. Just hit OK. That sets up our trigger. Next we're going to go to F6 markers and we're going to go right about there in the center of the compound area and we're just going to choose any marker place it in the center here. We're going to edit the marker and we're going to name this mark. Just hit OK and that sets up our marker. Next we're going to save our mission. We're going to click on the save icon at the top left and I'm going to put this on Altus and I'm going to name this Vehicle Patrol and save. Now that our mission is saved we're going to go to the scenario tab at the top and then we're going to go down to where it says open scenario folder. We're now in our mission folder. So we're going to create a script that we're going to put into this folder. So I'm going to give you guys a code. So start up a notepad document just like I did here. And once you get your notepad document opened up and you see the cursor blinking, just go one line down so that you got some space. And here is the code underscore V E H group space equals space left square bracket get marker with a capital M pause with a capital P space quote mark end quote and comma space west all capital letters comma space left circular bracket space right circular bracket right square bracket space call space b i s underscore f n c underscore spawn with a capital s group with a capital g and then semicolon now once you have that just press enter so you're one line down and then we're going to type left square bracket underscore V E H group comma space get marker pause all one word lowercase letters space quote mark end quote comma space 300 right square bracket and space call B I S underscore F N C underscore task patrol and then semicolon. So hit enter again so you're one line down and we're just going to put a hint type in hint space quote a vehicle group is spawned exclamation point end quote and then semicolon. All right let's go over this code real quick. Now vehicle group is going to be a group that is going to spawn. They are going to be a group of vehicles so the name doesn't really matter as long as you have the underscore there and basically a name. Next is the get marker position basically the group that spawns will get the position of the marker and mark this is the marker name which we already created in the editor in our mission this is going to be west or basically the blue, blue four side that will spawn so it has to be capital letters it'll be west in his bracket will we'll put something we have to go back in the editor for it and I'll show you once we get to that and this code basically calls the spawn group function so remember this is capitalized you have small letters capital S here and a capital G here the next line uh, sets up a new function and starting with this is our vehicle group from here and so this 
vehicle group will get the marker position of mark, just like we have above here. They will spawn on this line and then patrol in a 300 meter radius around the marker mark. And then this code basically calls the function of task patrol. Now this hint here that we just put basically just gives you feedback. This is just for test. You don't have to put that in your mission. Now you could easily take this code and put it into the uh, an activation box of the trigger that we created and spawn the group that way. What we're going to do instead is we're going to make this into a script. So we're going to name this and we're going to go to file here and then save and then don't save it yet. In the save as type, click on all files. Under file name, you're going to give it a, a name. This is going to be VEH patrol and then dot SQF. Don't save it yet. So your script name should be VEH patrol dot SQF. All right, so that's our script name. Next, before you save it, locate your mission folder. And for me, I'm just going to be on my desktop in a folder. So I'm going to go to missions, and this is on Altus. And the mission was named Vehicle Patrol, which is right here. So once you locate your mission folder, and you see the mission SQM, then just hit save. So once you save your mission, you should see the vehicle patrol SQF in your mission folder like you see here. Next, we're going to go back into the editor and we're going to add a code to the trigger. All right, we're going to edit the trigger. So either click on the trigger here or in the entities panel. Just double click it and it will open up. What you're going to do now is you're going to go to the on activation box and we're going to type in the following code. N U L space equals space E X E C V M V M is capitalized space quote V E H P A T R O L vehicle patrol that's our script name that we put in our mission folder dot S Q F end quote and then semicolon. The script name has to be spelled correctly. It has to be exactly as you see it in your mission folder. Once you have that just hit OK and we're going to save that. We have to add a another code to the script and I'm going to show you this part. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to tools at the top. Click on that and then you're going to go to config viewer. Click on that and the config viewer will open up. Now what you're going to look for is CFG groups. So we're going to scroll down to where we find CFG groups. Here we are. So this is CFG groups. So what you do is you double click it and a small list will expand and open up. And what you're going to see is east, empty, independent, and then west. These are the faction size or the, or the names. Now, if you click on East and you look in the main dialog box, you'll see that it says name 04. So this is the 04 side. Click on Empty. This is Compositions. If you click on In-Depth, it's Independent. And if you click on West, it should be Blue 4. So since we, we set the side for West in our script, we're going to double click this. Choose Blue underscore F. So if you if you click on these, like I said, look in this dialog box, it'll tell you what it is. It, this says blue, blue CTRGF, which is CTRG. This is blue. This is basically NATO. TF is the NATO Pacific. Woodland. Gendamiri. Gorilla, which is FIA. So we're going to go blue, blue underscore F. You double click that. And we're going to put it down in mechanized infantry squad so we're going to click on that double click it and we're going to choose this one if you want to know what these are just click on the name and it'll show you what the name is here mechanized air defense squad mechanized anti-armor squad mechanized support squad mechanized rifle squad etc 
So let's choose a mechanized rifle squad. This is just what we want. Now, if you look at this line here, you're going to see a path. This is what this is. This is a path. So what you're going to do is you're going to highlight this whole thing. Press Control C on your keyboard. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our mission folder and to our script. We're going to open our script and we're going to add this code in there. All right, you should be back in your mission folder. You're going to double click and open your script. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to this little uh, circular bracket right here and make sure the cursor is blinking in between these two brackets that are in red for me. And you're going to press Control V. What that's going to do is that's going to paste that code that we grabbed from the uh, config viewer that we copied. So as you can see, you should see a new code in there. All right, just like that. So now just save that and we're going to just close this and go back into the mission and we're going to play it. All right, let's play it. All right, let's go over here. You're going to press zero on your keyboard and you're going to see a menu come up on your left. You're going to scroll down and go to radio. You're going to see spawn enemy. We're not going to spawn any enemy yet because we have it set on blue four, which is friendly to us. So just hit enter and our mechanized squad will spawn. So what they're going to do now is the vehicle is going to take off and go patrol and the remaining infantry is basically going to follow Let's go to spectator. These guys will basically patrol the area. So you got two functions here. You have spawn group, which spawns the group, and you have uh, task patrol, which basically makes that spawn group patrol the area. So on the map itself, as we said, we have the marker group spawns at the marker and then basically patrols 300 meters around uh, that marker in a radius. Alright, you guys got the idea. Let's go back to the editor and I'm going to show you something else with this. We're going to edit the trigger and we're going to make this say any player present. Everything else can remain the same. We can leave it as repeatable. I just hit OK. We're going to actually move this to a new location, uh, the Finsky. So let's go over here and put the trigger right here in the center. So we're going to go to the area widget and we're going to expand this. Edit it, make it a circle. And better to do this on the map, you can see what you're doing. So we're just going to expand this. All right, now we're going to take the marker. I'm going to move the marker over here. And we're just going to put the marker back here. Just something to keep in mind. The direction that the marker is facing is going to be the direction that the spawn group is facing when they do spawn. All right, so now I'm going to take the player and I'm going to put the player over here. And actually, I'm going to have to do this. Uh, stand the surface. Yeah, let's put him behind this church. And let's actually give him a loadout. Just in case. Alright, so we're going to save that, and next we're going to go back to Tools, and we're going to set up, let's go back to Config Viewer, and this time we're going to choose East, so we'll just click on East, double click, it'll close everything else, we'll just put CSAT, we'll double click, and we're going to put down, let's choose a uh, motorized MTP squad, we'll just copy this, press Control C, and then we'll close this. We're going to go back in our mission folder and add this code to the script. All right, back in the script, what we're going to do now is we're going to go to this line again. I'm going to highlight this whole thing to where you get to the quotes. 
just like that. And you're going to press Control V because the code that you copied in the config viewer will paste over it. And once you have that, then since this is the east faction now, we have to change this right here to east. And let's do that right now. So make sure this is capitalized as you see it. And this will be what it is. Let's change this number to 800. So that gives the group that spawns a greater area to patrol. So once you have that, just hit save and let's go back in game and test it out. The trigger is going to be just the other side of this building. So I'm going to basically walk into it and there. The squad has spawned. Let's go to spectator. should be patrolling like something like this in a radius a little too fast for this guy but you get the idea all right so that's something you can do in your missions 